Say goodbye to parallel parking. This is the most failed part of driving tests. It's a challenging task, but computers are already doing it better without fender benders. For the second self-driving car benefit, these are gonna save lots of lives. Each year, there are around 1.3 million deaths globally from vehicle crashes. The main cause is human error, and self-driving cars will prevent many of these fatal errors. Your car's computer won't be distracted with eating or talking on the phone. Mothers Against Drunk Driving are also big fans of driving automation. Coming in at number three, self-driving cars are going to reduce animal roadkill. There are roughly 1.8 million animal vehicle collisions reported in the U.S. each year. But this will drop thanks to self-driving cars. They come equipped with sensors that can see more than the human eye. In Tesla's case, it's cameras that surround the car, and they don't get tired. They're always watching. Some other autonomous car companies, they're using LiDAR and other sensors. Either way, at night, your car could detect and react to a deer moving on the side of the road before you realize that it's there. For number four, self-driving cars are gonna boost productivity or leisure time. In the US, the average commute time is around 25 minutes. Self-driving cars will free up that time. You can get a jump start on the workday or other tasks during your commute. And already, advanced driver assistance is a less exhausting way to travel. After a long day on the road, I'm less tired thanks to Tesla's autopilot features. For the fifth self-driving car benefit, it's going to reduce a lot of driving stress. Road rage, of course, it's very unsafe for drivers, and just general driving stress has a negative impact on your health. One study found that the longer the commute, the higher the person's blood pressure and body mass index. Self-driving cars are gonna help reduce this stress and improve health. Number six, eliminate honking noise. As road rage disappears, honking is gonna fade away. Self-driving cars won't need to have a horn. The cars will already communicate with each other silently. Although regulators will still likely require noise to alert people outside the cars. For number seven, automation will lower insurance costs for drivers. According to KPMG, the auto insurance sector will shrink by more than 70% by 2050. That's about $137 billion. In the not distant future, we're gonna be leaving our mandatory car insurance payments in the dust. There is a bigger reason behind this, which I might cover down the road. Uh, if you wanna learn more, feel free to leave a comment. And also, as always, I'd really appreciate it if you tap the like button as well as subscribe. For the next benefit, it's gonna eliminate speeding tickets. Self-driving cars, they're safer for many reasons, and you might not be able to speed unless you're in an emergency. As a result, you're not gonna give cops the option to hand you a speeding ticket. For the next self-driving benefit, it's gonna improve overall traffic flow. Communication, it's key, and computers continue to get better. We're connecting more devices through the internet and reducing latency. Self-driving cars will be able to draft each other and won't need stoplights anymore. Swarm technologies will unlock many benefits, although these might be a bit further down the road. Our infrastructure will take some time to update. Another benefit is lower emissions. Self-driving cars will bring new efficiency to our roads. As a result, we should use a little less energy. And the growth in automation is just helping EVs replace gas guzzlers in general. For an overlooked benefit, Self-driving cars will also save garage space. A garage takes up a good chunk of the total square footage in a home. And in tightly packed communities, that's valuable space. Self-driving cars won't need a garage that's connected to your home. You can send your car to a tightly packed, secure community garage. And more likely than not, you won't need to own a car. For the next benefit, it's gonna empower the elderly. As people age, they lose their ability to drive. Their licenses are taken away. This is a big setback for many people, but it leads to another self-driving car benefit. The future cars can give some freedom back to elderly people. For the next self-driving car benefit, you can automate the fuel charging. You won't have to wait at the pump anymore. You'll be able to automate charging at home or you can send your car to go and charge itself elsewhere. For the next one, eliminate driver's licenses. Self-driving will come with simple spoken commands or taps on your smart devices. You won't need any costly training. 
Parents will also be able to apply parental control settings to provide a safer experience for their kids that call rides. We're already seeing Uber and other companies building these features. Up next, you can already do this today, but you can automate car updates. You won't have to take your car into the shop as often, or at all. Most times it will be able to drive itself in. Also, your car will be able to automatically update its software overnight. While living in my Tesla Model Y, this has been a great feature. For the last self-driving benefit, you're going to spend less to travel. A car, it's the second most expensive asset that most people buy, and that's behind a home. But with car automation replacing drivers, costs will come down. More people have access to lower cost rides. There you have it. Those are the huge benefits that many people overlook with a self-driving future. If you want to hear me go a little deeper on any of these or uh, any other surrounding topics, feel free to let me know in the comments. And as always, I'd really appreciate it if you just tap that like button as well as subscribe because that helps me out as a small creator. I hope to see you again soon.